This is Foster. Foster's a Parma Wallaby, and uh, he's about eight months old, and his mom was not able to care for him, so he had to be raised by the veterinary staff here at the zoo. We're here at the Sarah Allison Steffi Center for Zoological Medicine and uh, with Foster, and this is the intensive care unit, and this is where Foster lives. We keep it about 80 degrees, and we keep animals in this room who are small in size and who require a lot of extra care. We bottle feed him about three times a day now. When we first got him, we had to feed him about every two hours, and he had to come home with us at night, and uh, now he's on some grain and some adult food, so he doesn't have to get bottle fed as much. He's a real good eater. I feed him in my lap. He knows that's where he gets fed, so he comes right over. And you can tell he really likes his milk. This is a product called Wambaroo. It's, we import it from Australia. It's designed after kangaroo and wallaby milk. This is what we feed Foster the wallaby, or any uh, wallaby joeys or kangaroo joeys. This is the first stage, and you can see the baby wallaby. When we first get them, they uh, don't have any ears up, and they don't have any hair. Their eyes are closed. And in the next stage, actually there's one in between these that I don't have. This is the third stage. Their ears are up. They look completely different from here. And this is the last stage which is what Foster looks like now, and this is what he's on, and it really looks just like him. His ears are up, he's fully furred, and uh... If he was in his mother's pouch, he would have a nipple inside of that pouch where he could just nurse whenever he wanted to. And at the age he's at now, he would be both in and out of the pouch. He would come out and explore and go back in when he was hungry. And since he doesn't have that, we give him a pouch, of his own, and he goes in it when he wants to, but that doesn't coincide with eating for him. He spends a lot of time in that pouch because it's comfortable for him. Was in his own mother's pouch for a little while before uh, she wasn't able to raise him, but uh, this pouch is very different than hers, obviously, warm and made out of skin and fur, and this is completely synthetic, so he had to learn to recognize it as a pouch. But, uh, He's very attached to it at this point. Foster's going to go and uh, be in our wild animal program here at the zoo. He's going to be an ambassador for all of our animals. He's going to go to classrooms and be on our stage show. And uh, he'll be trained. And he'll be cared for by our education staff.